Aunt Clara give you? Show everybody. I don't want to. Show everybody what Aunt Clara gave you. She just always gives you the nicest things. Go upstairs and try it on. And I don't want to. Go upstairs right now and try on that present. She went to all that trouble to make it. Now go on. We're waiting. Oh, come on, Mom. Right now. <gasps> come down here so I can see you better. Isn't that cute? That is the most precious thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Are you happy wearing that? Do you want to take it off? Look, you tell the kid to take it off. All right, you'll only wear it when Aunt Clara visits. Go on and take it off. Take it off! Hey, before we get started, let me... <laughs> I really do look ridiculous. <laughs> let me tell you what we got going on here. We have all these creatives right here, including myself, wanting to jumpstart your holly jolly Christmas by making our own versions of an ugly Christmas sweater tumbler. All of our videos drop two days, so be sure to just grab some popcorn, throw on some tinsel and lights, and just sit back and watch the ugly Christmas sweater tumbler a thon And listen, you'll find out you really no longer have to be afraid of getting an ugly Christmas sweater as a present for Christmas, because they actually make really beautiful tumblers. It's ridiculous. So be sure to stick it around to the end. I may have a little surprise to give away for you. I gotta go take this thing off so we can get started. Let's go. Oh, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Man, am I glad to have that thing off. Sheesh. Man, that thing was hideous, but I do think that it'll make a beautiful Christmas tumbler. Literally, literally, it took forever to draw this so square. I couldn't find a font to just type it in there. So I had to draw that in there. I wanted to save all of you guys tons of time. So I've made this file available on my website. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you how to get this download and how to enter to win this Tumblr course when I get done and it's wrapped in a beautiful, ugly sweater. That's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Huh. Well, who doesn't love a good moron? Or Let's just go. All right, we're literally, literally gonna use one spray paint color. And I've chose to use this as a stencil, okay? But you could totally print this out on white vinyl and do it the opposite that I'm gonna do. I'm starting off with a pre-prepped 20 ounce slim tumbler from Still Magnolia. If you wanna get that, there's a link in the description and use discount code DUNKIN10 to save you some dinero, some moolah, baby. Who doesn't love that? So I'm starting off with a white tumbler. So I've got one color already done. So I'm gonna use this as a stencil to put it on there and we're gonna spray it red. But, but, but you can totally spray paint, spray paint, paint, spray paint and prep your tumbler red, cut this out on white vinyl and stick it on and be done. Whoop. Video's over, let's go. No, but seriously, it's that easy. This is probably one of the super simplest Christmas sweater. And I drew this all up in a way that is super easy to weed. And if you're using it as a stencil, it's super easy. It removes all this one piece, all this, boom, boom. The only thing that may be a little bit more is because this is the centerpiece. And I figured we'll put a little bit more jazz into that because it's the only one right there. But other than that, that is super simplified. And I'm also gonna probably take a Poshka paint marker because if you notice, it's red, white, and it's got a little bit, it looked like black, but it's like a dark, dark navy blue. I'm gonna put a dot here, 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 and then a few dots, just dots, just to accent, just to sell the illusion that it matches that beautifully ugly sweater that we have perfectly. So, to get started, we're gonna take this, and real quick, let me take you my computer and show you my measurement. What I did is I put my, I took a picture of my sweater, and I put this guy over it and tried to line it up pretty decently. Uh, as you'll notice, it doesn't line up now because I had to add a curve to it because my tumbler has a slight taper to it. So it's not perfectly straight. And this is a Steel Magnolia tumbler. As you'll notice, it doesn't, it's not exactly the same. What I did is I super simplified it so that it's easier to cut. And when you spray paint it, when I spray paint it, it'll be easier to remove all of the stencil and more of one piece. This one right here is kind of the centerpiece. 
so I made him a little bit more complicated, but you can see it's still pretty simple. And what I wanted to bring in here, the reason I got you over here is because I want to tell you my sizes. The tumbler here, I measured around the top. I took this wrapped around and it's 9.25 uh, width right here. And then the height is 8.125, which is eight and one eighth, okay? So I want it to be a little gap on the top and bottom. So I just went ahead and made it plain old eight. And then I want it a little bit longer than 9.25. So I put 9.3, because I want to make sure it overlaps and touches. That's it, we're going to cut this out. And we're going to grab it and we're going to take it and put it on our tumbler right now. But before we get it on our tumbler, I want to show you the easiest way to remove this vinyl and not lose all your details is to turn it upside down. Pull off the back. Look, I got that little square. He's trying to get away. Bring it back down, push, and then slide. Boom. If you got any parts that want to stay, like this guy right here, here he's trying to stay. You don't stay. You, you belong here. Push it back down, push, and slide it off. Just take your time, and voila! There you go. Your stencil's perfectly intact. Now we're ready to put it on. And what I did, I put it lined it up put it straight put down the middle and start rubbing this way and then i rubbed it all the way and then i pull off this so that when i rub around this way it's basically the same way i do any full wrap or whatever and this is sized perfectly for this 20 ounce slim from steel magnolia line up perfectly well almost uh, by the time you get it the file will be adjusted and it'll be perfect but let me show you how to fix that. Don't freak out. A lot of people would think this is the end of the world. But listen, you still have your... Oh, sorry. You still have your excess that you weeded your tumbler from. I always save these things until the end because you never know when you might need a piece from it or you might need to even cut something out. I don't know. I just save it till I'm done with my tumbler. It's a nice little tip for you guys to have. But literally, I'm just going to take a few pieces like this and then fill in the gaps right there no big deal for the top part i took some really fine line tape you can take regular tape and then cut it with an exacto blade but what i'm doing is creating the illusion that it's a straight line so if you'll see let me focus in real close right here that is a, quite a drop right there but i take the tape and make it like it goes straight so when you paint it it'll look seamless it's a little life hack jack nobody's going to notice that this that one lines up actually perfect or that this might do it if you want to you can take your razor blade and cut that off i'm not going to worry about it because literally who's going to notice that are all sweaters knitted equally and perfect absolutely not so let's keep going wow you could leave it just like that if you want to a black and white throw some glitter on it boom be done epoxy that mug let's call it a day but we're going to paint it red because we want it to match our ugly sweater so next thing to do tape the rim and paint it red let's go Don't forget your bottom. I can't wait to get that vinyl stencil off and see what we got. You know how to take a stencil off. I mean, seriously, let's just take it off. You know, just like this. There we go. Woo! Look at that. Oh, that was so easy. Actually, it took me a little bit to get it off because I took my time. Uh, there are a lot of little pieces, but not nearly as many as if I had not simplified it. Oh my gosh. But like I said, super simple. If you didn't want to have to weed, uh, take all these off there after you spray paint it, you can just spray it red and then put white vinyl on it. I mean, it's, look at that. That's sick. And you could actually look, there's a little place for a a phrase back here. Now, the next thing I wanna do, I wanna tell you guys, I've done a lot of work in the background, trying to figure out a cool way to put a kind of mitten-y textured pattern on there. I put this glove on, which is really ridiculous. This is not my first attempt. The f I put this glove on, I spray with an airbrush, and I kinda, I did it on a practice one, of course, but I'd press it on, and that didn't work. That was like my last, second to last idea, I don't know. But I was really excited because I've got this stuff right here. It's called stamping foam. And I showed a few people uh, in my VIP group I was on late last night with them, showing them, trying to figure this out. Uh, this stamping foam stuff, you heat it up and then make an imprint of like the uh, mitten, but it didn't work. 
because the mitten is too soft to fabricate. It needs to be something hard. I looked everywhere trying to find something hard enough to impress. I've got all kinds of these little patterns of gloves and mittens and scarves and junk I got from like the Goodwill store. None of that worked and these didn't work. And it, I was really disappointed too because like literally you can make a cool little pattern and heat it up with this thing right here. Make a cool little pattern. Get out of the way. And then put some stamping ink on it like after you're done you heat it up again and it goes back flat but it didn't work so i've got a solution that does work just don't do it i'm kidding I'm kidding you could totally not do it but still it would look legit if you didn't but that's not how i roll around here so i found some digging and i found this little see that pattern there it's like a little drawer liner it gives a little bit of illusion of a textury nitty looking thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this wrap it on there i would cut it but i kind of want to put it back because it goes under my cabinet in the bathroom before my wife notices so i'm not going to cut it because i'm going to put it back but don't judge me so this tape line right here i'm going to blow to that line and then we'll just adjust it move it and just do one more little swipe super li listen listen i cannot stress this enough on this back it up terry super light just shh, that's it watch i'm gonna show you it's super i'm gonna hold it like let me try oh gosh let me try to hold it with my left hand so that you can see the action and i'll do it right on the front so you'll know it's there really super light and you gotta remember where you go all right let me show you what it looks like. Hey, check this out. I want to bring you down here. I finally figured out a cool way to hold it is to do it like this and then unroll it as you're going around. And then boom, check that out. Booyah! Can you see the pattern on there? It's super cool. But whoa, let me get you a better look at that. There, can you see it? Look at that. It looks like a legit knit. Legit knit. Hey, how about that? But I want to show you one thing. Look at this. You've seen this in a few of my videos before. It's an eraser pencil. Let's say theoretically you think you got a little bit too dark because it shows up more on white than it does red of course but let's say you feel like you got too dark on the white let's find a spot that looks pretty dark maybe this one right here take this little pencil and just lightly erase some of that away look at that you see how it lightened that up so there you go if it's too dark just like it dude i seriously like that right there oh that looks so cool let me filth the animal. Now what we're gonna do is mix up some epoxy. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter in it. Really, really fine, light colored sparkly glitter. And I'm gonna just throw a layer of epoxy on this with the glitter in it. Just really something subtle, not crazy. And I was thinking about glittering the bottom and down here and up here with red glitter, like cap it off, but that's so clean. I'm totally not gonna do that. But you could, it's an idea. Just have an idea, you know things you can do so let's glitter this bad boy up epoxy it and i'm gonna reveal this bad boy too and don't forget i'm gonna tell you how you can win this filthy animal <laughs> you filthy animal let's go whoa ho, 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 ho. that turned out ridiculously beautiful really there's nothing ugly about this ugly Christmas sweater tumbler. The pattern with the knit, the little reindeers, the Merry Christmas you filled in, the snowflakes, the added little detail with the uh, Pashka markers. I did the dots because I got the dark blue up here. Look at that, look at that, it matches almost perfectly. You can't tell where the sweater stops and the tumbler starts. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. And if you noticed, look at, take a peek at that right there. Look at that little bit of sparkle, just enough it's got in it to make it that much more beautiful. I kind of wish my shirt had sparkles in it. I used the glitter guy, white to pink. Just put it in my first layer of epoxy. I used Alumilite Amazing Quick Coat. Boom, slid that bad boy on. Two hours later, it's just a little tacky. Ready to put that last layer on and boom. Guess what? That's it, you're done. So if you want to make your own one of these, I've got the digital download file for this template available. Like I said, you can do it piece by piece or you can do it all in one. Starting today until December the 2nd, 11.59 p.m. Eastern time, 
every dollar you spend at DuncanCustomAirbrush.com is gonna get one entry for you to win this. Also, if you do actually download this exact file, you get five extra entries. What? Yes, exactly. And because we don't wanna leave anybody out, we also have a free way to enter. So click the link, check that out on the listing. It'll have all the details there. And we're gonna give this away on December the 3rd, live on my Instagram. We're gonna do it about 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, who knows, I might even give this ugly sweater away, if you're lucky, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Be sure to watch all these other creators, ugly Christmas sweater tumblers, their video drops today, don't miss it. Go, hey, go put your ugly Christmas sweater on, grab a bottle of popcorn, a bottle of popcorn, is that how that works? A bowl of popcorn, put your ugly Christmas sweater on, might, might as well light the fire and just throw on your sandals and watch a marathon of ugly Christmas tumbler tumblers videos. Wow, words are hard. Isn't that right, Paisley? Paisley says she hopes you win, she hopes you go get these downloads, and she hopes you watch all these and enjoy all these other videos. Paisley, you want me to make you an ugly Christmas sweater? Nope. No, okay, I'm sorry. Paisley says watch this next video right here. If you enjoy Christmas, you'll love this one. Let's go. Be sure to watch all these ugly, uglier, uglier? No. So be sure to watch all these ugly, oh my God, I keep saying uglier. They're uglier than me, because I'm pretty beautiful. What? Be, uh, be sure to watch all these, uh, oh gosh.